I'm joined here at one of the show homes at Desert Springs Resort by Neil Kendrick, Head of Cricket Performance at Whitgift School. Neil, we've just been here for five days with 80 boys from the school. Um, why did you pick Desert Springs and what have you been looking to achieve from the, the camp? Okay, well, we're really pleased to be back um, from after COVID. Um, we've, we've been here um, a number of times before um, and the facilities and the resort has always worked out um, perfect for us. Um, being able to bring as many boys as this, this away, accommodate them and provide facilities where we can offer essentially which is, what is a, a cricket camp over five days um, is a fabulous experience for the boys. So uh, the boys have played some quite heated internal T20 games. They've had some, some practice sessions, some theory sessions. Um, how have the facilities at the cricket ground and the academy worked out for you? Um, they've been ec excellent. The, to be able to get on a two hour flight from London um, and then come and play cricket in the sun with great weather at this time of the year when the weather's never that great in England around this time is a it's a brilliant experience for the boys they've loved playing the matches they felt really um, proud that they've been able to to come and play where they know um, professional cricketers have been doing that running their pre-seasons um, and then even the little wicket that we've got on the academy ground the Astro there that's played well enough for them to get something out of the, the game and, and and then for them to be out of net and practice and us to be able to cope with 80 boys being here has, has been excellent. It's been a, a pretty full on schedule as we've mentioned. Have the uh, boys and probably more importantly the staff been fueled to, to, to complete that workload? Um, yeah, I mean it's a it's brilliant of all, all the teachers that we brought here. They're, some of them are academic teachers, some of them are sports teachers. Myself and one of the other guys, Simon Jackson, are, uh, sort of help run the cricket at the school. Um, we've had a long term. Um, it was the start of the holidays, but everybody was looking forward to, to, coming, out, to coming out here. And yes, we've staffed the camp entirely from our own um, teachers and sports coaches at school um, and it is hard work but the value that we get from it um, in seeing the boys faces um, how many boys I don't think it's a coincidence that the numbers of boys we've had playing since we've been doing this sort of thing has gone up massively especially in the senior part of the school when we've been been running this type of thing perfect the the players the pupils have stayed in last year so as of the staff how have the apartments been for the for the group? Oh, you see the boys' faces when they when they go in. They're like, "What? This is all for us. This apartment. Um, they're it's it's perfect. They get their own little bit of independence. Um, we know it's safe. It's it's away from things. Um, so we, you feel totally comfortable with the boys being in their own apartments." Just have to check up on them a, a few times and, and make sure everybody's all right. But yeah, the, the apartments have worked ex excellently. And finally, the guys are back to Alicante and Murphy Airports today. Um, what's next for Whitgift Cricket when you get back to school and, and the summer term starts in earnest? Uh, I guess we've got, we've got our senior first team are, are playing on the 15th. That's their, that's their first game. And we've got a couple of practice games before the start of term. And then we kick off with a with a block against Hurstbeard Point the first first weekend, and and everything's going as soon as we got, got we get back. As long as the pitches have held up and it's not been too rainy, um, yeah. And then a, a busy nine ten weeks playing two hundred odd gut two hundred odd games throughout the season. Well, have a safe flight home. Good luck against Hurst, and we'll see you again next year. Thanks, Pete.